In Exodus 30, verse 34 through 36, the instructions for mixing the holy incense are given. It says, And the Lord said unto Moses, Take unto thee sweet spices, stati, onica, galbanum, these sweet spices with pure frankincense. Of each shall there be a like weight, and thou shalt make it a perfume, a confection after the art of the apothecary, tempered together, pure and holy. And thou shalt beat some of it very small, and put of it before the testimony in the tabernacle of the congregation, where I will meet with thee, it shall be unto you most holy. The Old Testament Apocrypha, dating back to 180 BC, mentions the formula for holy incense in Sirach 2415, a thousand years after Moses. Most of the spices and perfumes that made up the temple incense were lovely and fragrant, but galbanum had an earthier, parsley-like smell. The Jewish Talmud suggests that galbanum, a less than wonderfully fragrant resin, was included in the holy incense because every communal fast that does not include the sinners of Israel is not a fast. The Hebrew word for galbanum is keleb, which means the fat or the richest part. The Torah instructed the priest that when he offered up the goat as an offering made by fire for a sweet aroma, all the keleb, the fat, belonging to the Lord, was forbidden for human consumption. You see, believers are to be lean and to avoid fulfilling their lust of worldly affections. The excess Yah gives a believer is to be offered up back to him to complete his mission and ministry on earth, not for believers to be lazy and gluttonous with.